Um, so what's the story? Well, you know, it's, uh, and the propellant looks fine, so I don't think it had anything to do with, uh, you know, anything to do with the propellant. I guess Derek did notice that it looked like it might have been burning on the back side of the liner. Uh, I don't know, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, I have no real explanation because uh, we found some of the finisil sections and they had, they were still perfectly sound even after the explosion, so the, I don't think it was the case, you know, where a fin broke off, but uh, I guess it is possible some of the liners showed dark spots and some of it didn't, so uh, it's possible maybe I should have directly bonded it to the aluminum instead of using, I used a phenolic liner, you know, that slipped in that was not an incredible tight fit to the aluminum, so it's about the best of guess I have right now. <laughs> so what's your next step? Do you make another one try again? Yeah, hey, I bought a 21-foot section of that sure. aluminum, so I, I still have enough for three or four <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, and to be, well, I, I shouldn't say, I mean, I might try the direct bonding, but, you know, I think about it, and at this point, I just don't, I don't see anything obvious. I mean, the nozzle was definitely larger than the core by almost a quarter inch, so, it, you know, that was not true last year, but I, I, I just don't really know for sure right now. Okay, well, I just saw you packing up. I wanted to make sure you weren't heading yeah. to town never to return. I want to see you back here again. Hey, I, I like to come back and watch other people's carnage. Well, it's more think, fun. Why do you think I'm here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Richard. All right. www.rocketsmagazine.com